Hey guys, welcome back to the Santa Spricks. My name is Jevin, and now there are a lot of different cool futuristic vehicles. And one of my favorite futuristic vehicles is the hovercraft. So today we are going to be building a Lego hovercraft. Let's get building. So for the main base of our hovercraft, we are going to use this piece here. So now into this little indented area here, we're going to add a 2x2 two two tan plate and a 1x2 tan tile, just like so. So now behind those, we are going to add two of these 1x4 dark gray plates. Then we are going to add two of these 1x3 bricks and one of these 1x4 bricks, just like so. So next we're going to need to take a 1x2 tan plate and then add a 2x2 two two sloped piece on top of it. Next we're going to take a snot brick, now snot stands for studs not on top which means it has studs on the side which will allow this piece to connect just like so. So next we're going to need a 1x2 plate, a 1x2 tile slope, and a 1x1 plate just like so. So now if we take two of these, these will go on either side of our little cockpit area, just like so. so next we're going to add a 1x2 plate and two of these 1x2 printed tiles, which will have the controls to our hovercraft. And then finally we will take a cheese wedge piece and it has this little screen print on it. So next we're going to need a whole bunch of these inverted 2x2 two two brackets. And these are all going to go on the bottom of our hovercraft, just like so. Also then to the bottom we're going to add these plates, which will fill in these gaps here and here, just like so. So now it's time to fill in this big gap here. So we're going to do that using a snot brick and a whole bunch of other light gray bricks. So this 1x4 snot brick is going to go in the very front, and then we'll fill this section in here with just regular bricks. So now for the sides here, we're going to add one snot brick and then one regular brick, and we will do this on the other side as well. So now to the front here, we're going to add two of these 2x4 sloped pieces, and these are going to go right here and right here with a two stud gap in between them. Now in that gap we're going to put a 2x3 plate and a 2x3 tile. We also are going to add this silver engine piece. So now behind that we're going to add a 1x3 plate, a 2x2 two two slope, and a 1x2 slope. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So then we're going to need a 2x2 two two plate and a 2x2 two two tile, and this will fit right into this gap right here, just like so. So now we're going to add a 1x4 plate and two of these 2x2 two two sloped pieces, just like so. And then once again, we'll do that on the other side. Next we're going to add a 1x2 tile and two of these 1x3 sloped pieces, just like so. So now onto these studs that are here on the side, we're going to add two of these 2x6 two pieces and one of these 1x4 plates, just like so. So now back here we're going to add an inverted bracket and two of these L-shaped plates, just like so. Next we're going to add a 2x8 plate and a 2x6 plate, just like so. And then up to the front here, we're going to add another inverted plate and a 1x2 plate. So now it's time to add two of these 2x2 two two slopes, a 1x4 plate, a 2x2 two two plate, and two of these 2x3 two slope pieces, just like so. So now it's time to do the same thing to the other side. So next, we're going to need a 2x4 plate, a 2x2 two two tile, and two of these 2x2 two two sloped pieces. And this is going to be the front bumper of our car, just like so. So now on the back here, we're going to add two of these 2x1 bricks with the little X in the middle, 
And also we're going to add another one of these engine pieces, right there, just like so. Next we're going to add two of these 1x2 bricks, and these are going to go on either side of that engine piece, just like so. Then we're going to add two stacks of two 1x2 plates, and these are going to go on either side here, just like so. Next we're going to add two of these sloped grate pieces, and these are going to go on those 1x2 bricks, just like so. Next we're going to add two of these silver pieces, and these are going to go on the back here, just like so. Next we're going to add a 2x3 plate, but as you can see, it has some edges cut off on the tip there, and this is going to go right on top, just like so. Next we're going to take this Technic wheel piece and put a Technic axle through it, just like so. So now onto the stud in the middle here, we're going to add a light blue translucent cylinder piece and then a light blue translucent cone piece, just like so. This is then going to go on the very back of our speeder, just like so. So next we're going to need this silver wheel piece, a T-bar connector, and two of these clip pieces. Now the T-connector is going to go into the stud on our wheel, and then the two clip pieces are going to go on either side of the T-shaped bar, just like so. So now we're going to need three more of these, giving us four in total. These pieces are then going to connect onto these parts here on the bottom of our speeder, just like so. So now we're going to bend these down towards the outside of our hovercraft, just like so. Next we're going to take a column of these translucent bricks and connect them to the bottom of our hovercraft. This will then allow our hovercraft to stand up and make it look like it is hovering. And now all that's left to do is to add our little spaceman minifigure to the cockpit, just like so. And so, there we have our LEGO hovercraft. Now I originally built this hovercraft for a contest on LEGO Ideas. So if you guys would like to support this build, be sure to check out the link down in the description. Alright guys, and so that is our LEGO Futuristic Hovercraft. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click subscribe right down there.